Welcome back to Fran Bo. Let's take a look around this ship. Oh, so many pages to read. I hope they have pictures. But letters are alright. They tell stuff to imagine. I misunderstand stories sometimes, and that can be a great danger. <laughs> That's what that is. Hmm, I don't see very well. It's quite dark. Yes, it is. I wonder if I'm going to have to turn off the light at some point. Hmm. I wonder if Edward really does love black cats. If these dolls represent Mr. Midnight, it would be strange. Oh, the ladder leads to a door, but it's closed. It seems that it can only be opened from outside. Oh, that must go outside the ship. <gasps> Puppet show? Hmm, the keyhole requires a key for sure. It feels like something is missing. Yeah, so I need a key to start the puppet show. Oh, hey, I've still got fireberries. And the water. Oh, right. That's right. Itward gave them back to me for me to put in the, uh, the engine and stuff. Forgot about that. Many things to look at. I don't think I need any of this. It makes me wonder. There are many things that we never really need. Many things to look at. That just started looping again. But yeah, there are actually many items that I don't need. And some items that I still have even though I've used them, like the crayon. I wonder if they're going to come in handy again. I don't remember the, the drugged up cinnamon button never came in handy. So there must be alternative solutions to certain puzzles. This lamp looks like a teapot with forks and spoons. A clock. Lovely bears. They hold each other's hand. Many shoes. Maybe they're too tight for the big Edward. Hmm. Many tiny gloves. They look a bit familiar. That's King's Ire. I recognize him. Hmm. I see now. They're friends. Why does Itward have a pile of shoes and teddy bears and black cats? Is, um... Is Itward perhaps in the business of kidnapping young children? I'm very suspicious of this Itward. I wonder what kind of thing this machine counts. It doesn't have wires. How does it work? Edward's technology is very amazing. Oh, this looks like a mathematical problem. But I won't try to solve it. I have other things to do. Let's see what this place looks like in the other world. Oh, it's the sisters! Are, are you... are you here to kill Edward? Hello? Why won't you talk to me? I'm very sorry for what I did. I hope you can forgive me. Look at that deranged smile. That key. Uh, what's gonna happen if I try to get it? Hmm, let's try. Oh, a little key. I wonder what it's for. Probably for the puppet show. I'm surprised they just let me grab it. I thought they'd maybe flinch away or something. There we go. Let's see what happens. In a world made of darkness and light, two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm, but none of the sides could decide if what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad. 
and this was because they both were mad. Oh, insane little girls. Inside of their minds. Itward, the creature of the night. He came always around in dreams or reality, teaching the girls the splendor of duality. But they couldn't understand. Itward was a friend. Itward was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mia one day decided to get rid of Itward once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. It's all your fault, Mia. Then Itward came to visit for the last time. And he said, You are both trapped in the world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sewed your bodies together to prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have and just one tiny little chance to understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing and the well's magic door is unlocked. So Itward gave them a chance. But they only had until Mr. Midnight went missing. Until the whale's door was unlocked and I went through it. And obviously, I guess they they squandered their chance. They didn't they didn't do it. They didn't do it in time. Also, I feel like I mispronounced both of their names. Mia and Clara. Is it Clara? Clara? Is it Mia or is it Maya? I have no idea. But I think Mia is a perfectly reasonable pronunciation. The door is closed. Maybe Edward can open it later. <laughs> Look at all these forks just like glued to the wall. Gold forks. Silver forks. Hello. Mr. Midnight? How does the other Mr. Midnight make you feel? Because I don't know about you, but it creeps me out. Does it just go from room to room? Because it was in the other room before, wasn't it? Hmm. What the hell? <laughs> Is this the engine? A spinning top. Huh. Wow, that's a huge spinning top. I'm guessing this may be the engine. I really like the design. It's very understandable. Uh, sure. How does this provide any power whatsoever? Oh, the compass goes in circles. Upside down and nowhere. These lights show for sure that something is working. this mess. Itward doesn't know about hygiene. Yeah, this is disgusting. But he does know about mechanical things. Maybe he keeps these parts to make new ones. Hmm. This looks important.
can't read any of that. But... Shows a flame, shows that having water. Connection... Turn a knob. Flip a lever. Okay, probably gonna need that. Ooh, science kit. Ooh, do I... Oh my god, I think I get to mix science. I get to mix science! Yes! Mix science chemicals and science beakers and science flasks. Combine sciences to make new sciences. Let me see. Hmm, AFM? Missing. Those are the chemicals, uh, chemicals over here, right? N166, N166, yeah, so I guess that's one of the missing chemicals. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, got all of them except AFM. What do you have inside, little bottle? Looks like water. I think this should be turned on in order to work. Hmm. Hmm. This pink hose may be good to connect somewhere. Blue hose, ready to use. Oh god. No. Dump it. Dump it! Whoa. No, put put it back in. Jesus. What have I done? Alright, I see. You're supposed to drag it. Oh god, I think I just accidentally put it in there. Uh, flush! <laughs> How do I dump it? I've ruined it. Oh god, what am I- okay. That's gonna explode. Run! <laughs> what is this? Reality view? The berry? Or, hmm, is that seeing the berry or seeing before the berry? Either way, the ultra reality view is seeing- Seeing the fire berry. Seeing the fire part of it, seeing through. Seeing to another layer. Hmm. Micronutrients in fireberries will supercharge an engine and ensure it lasts forever. Oh, fireberries. Or Afuga Mercenis AFM. So that's the missing chemical, the fireberries that I have. Okay, well that's no problem. Uh, so this is showing how everything needs to be mixed. AFM needs to go in there, then it needs to pour into there, and it shows the colors as well. Okay, I am going to need that. Also... N166. That one is going to need flame. Which means this needs to be turned on, which means it needs, well, flame. There we go. Kind of don't feel comfortable just leaving that running, but uh, I guess it's fine. Let's keep taking a look around. The vase has no flowers. Well, I'll just leave it there. Hmm. I don't have any flowers to stuff in it either. I don't need this pencil. I already have a crayon. Hmm, are those to drink water? They're quite small. <laughs> oh my god, Fran's adorable. A ventilation swirl. I won't touch it, I can harm myself. Hmm, where does that connect to? That goes down, I guess, just to the engine. Does it connect to this, though? Because I know there's some instructions for what to do here. Um, up on here. Let's see what this looks like in the other world. Oh my god! That is fucking... Uh, that's disgusting. She's got eyeball fingers. Well, a hose has a sort of connector. Where's the missing part? Hose has some kind of connector. I wonder what for. Seconds and minutes and hours and days. Tick tock. Tick tock. I forgot to understand you. I forgot to give myself some love. Okay. Just gonna leave you and your eyeballs alone there. Ooh. Looks like a green octopus hose. <laughs> There's an eyeball wrapped around that little vent here. Ew. 
See if there's anything different here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I think I maybe have all the hoses. Oh, this hose looks damaged. Hose seems to be, yeah, hose seems to be damaged. Hmm. I guess the duct tape probably will be f to fix that. Okay, I think we have everything we need. Let's go ahead and fix that. There we go, it's fixed. I should give myself a hug for being so clever. You should. Okay, I guess we can just get this set up right now. Oh, and that needs water, if I remember right. The pump is now filled with water. Perfect. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Uh, lever needs to be flipped to the left. Needs water, check. Flip to the left. This needs to be turned counterclockwise. And then the lever needs to be right. So left, counterclockwise, right. Left, counterclockwise, right. Left, counterclockwise, right. Left, counterclockwise. Uh, how much are you supposed to turn it counterclockwise? The default was that, right? The default was completely horizontal, right? Yeah, and then it looks like... Turn it once? Maybe once? Or is this saying it needs to be horizontal and then turn to something else? Or that it needs to end up horizontal? Um... I don't actually know. I, I think it just needs to be horizontal. So I think it's good. And then this needs to be to the right. Mm, nothing happened. Oh, that's not horizontal. Okay, that. Well, maybe I need to do this first. I don't know. Okay. How do I do this? What do the colors mean? It has the name for what chemical needs to go in it. So that's easy enough. So N166. All the way on the right. Oh, but the thing is, it's already colored. I need to, like, get rid of the fluid. Mm. Also, how do I actually get the fluid to, like, go over? Do I need to press something? This thing's red, so it needs power, obviously. So this thing needs power to be able to power, like, the pumps or something? I don't know if I need to get this chemical mixture right to supply power to the engine, or if the engine needs to supply power to this. I don't really know. Hmm. And then that shows a connection between the boiler and the lever. It's showing a connection. Is there not already a connection? No, there is a connection, and I fixed it, right? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do first. Okay, well... That's supposed to go in there, and then that's supposed to go into here. But it doesn't look like it has. And I've got a bunch of hoses, but... I don't know. Let's see. It's like a bluish hose from that one to that one. And a pink hose from that one to that one. Do I have a pink hose? Is that telling me the color of the hoses? I think it is. Oops. Do I have to combine them first? No. There we go. And then the pink one goes... Hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, that's actually right. Okay. And then green hose connects to the bottom two right ones. These two. 
There we go. Now I've got the blue hose. Where does that go? That goes between that one and that one. Okay. Okay. I think that's all of them. What did these do, though? I don't know. Alright. N16 in that one. Let's just write this down. N166 R15 2PF A18 AFM uh, Okay, so all the chemical stuff goes in the top ones, and then it just all kind of distills down into the bottom. Gotcha. Okay, so N166 in there. Then R15 in the next one. Then 2PF. Then A18. Then AFM, which is the fire berries in my inventory. That aren't on fire into the vase ready. Oh, I need to switch to the other reality to make them burn, right? I think so. That's what the poster's showing me. Yeah. Or not? Or do I have to relight them? Hmm. Well, I can't exactly light them up if they're in water. Anyway, they can burn possibly in water, right? Alright, well, forget that. And the fireberries are out of my inventory, so obviously I can't do anything more about that. Hmm. Are these ones right? These both seem to be green, which is kind of weird. Are they both just green? I guess they are both just green. I think I need to get the other part of this thing working before this will work. Unless there's like a doodad or a switch I'm missing, because like none of the liquid's actually coming down for some reason. So I think I need to get this working over here. I don't know, everything's like permanently red. It's got the water. That switch there. Okay. Check the water. Good. Switch. Counterclockwise. Flip. I'm missing something. Oh, actually, that shows left and then right. There we go. I think it's done. Super Chemistry Master Franbo. Bingo! Okay, well, that helps. Um, do I need to do anything with it? I think it's done. Super Chemistry, yep. It's like, is that good? Will that now power this? No. Oh. That's weird. How come I can pull that off? Does that mean something? That's gotta be used for something. I can collect water from the water that I just poured out of the bucket. So now I have more water? <laughs> it's already filled with water, though. Why did I just collect more water? I don't get it. So, do I need to collect the final mixture, or is it already being fed into the engine? I think it's being fed into the engine. There's a tube connected to it. Do I need to collect it? No. What do I do? <gasps> I think I just need this thing thing to work. I don't understand why it isn't. Look at this again. Okay, 
Water. Check. Flippy thing to the left. Check. Hose that connects. Check. I fixed it. Knob turned horizontal. Check. Flame! Not check. Flame! That's what I'm missing. Can't turn on the water. There's no gas coming from the pipes. Okay, hold on. Do, 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 do. That should do it. Okay. That was fun. Friend, I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? I think I managed myself quite well, too. I did all you asked of me. Very well, friend. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask you if you are afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm... I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me get rid of it? A rabbit? I, I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all the things I've seen, I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit, or one with horns and killer eyes? You'll have to see it for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. It's just sitting there. No blinking, no movement. It's staring all the time. It does sound very scary, sir. But show it to me, otherwise I will never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. Ah, the secret door that I couldn't open myself. What's inside? There! See? It's just... sitting there. Isn't that a strange behavior? From what I see, it's just a toy, sir. It won't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare to touch it. Alright, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. Hmm... Is he actually just afraid of a toy, or is it maybe actually a tiny rabbit? Oh my god, those little boots it has on are so adorable. <gasps> I'm not afraid of no rabbit toy. See, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, Fran. There is nothing to be afraid of. What? Don't go! Mr. Midnight! This is not funny. I knew it. Edward is just trapping children. Isn't it? He, they, I don't know. Wh what do you call a skeleton person? I'll just say Edward. Edward is trapping children. Creepy bastard. Hmm, hello? Are you Edward's other head? I like the hat. Ooh. Anna. I guess I'm gonna need that for something. Itward made a paper boat. Those bulbs don't know whether to stay turned on or off. I think this is a wrench. It can be useful. A pencil. Don't need it. Mmm, vegetables. Green leaves. Mmm, tasty carrot. Can I julienne the carrot with my bloody knife? Nope. I don't need more carrots. I already have one. This is a tree. Yeah, it seems to be growing out of the ground. Uh, so there's dirt underneath the metal floorboards, I guess? Well, I shouldn't say floorboards, floor, uh, floor panels, more like. Hmm. Oh. It's already missing two bolts. Looks like I can probably take off the other two. Nuts and bolts. I never know which is which.
That's cool that you actually have to turn it to loosen it. That's really cool. Oh, it opened. It looks like the machine needs some energy to wake up. It looks like a battery belongs in here. Little fan, circuit board. Cables that connect with each other. This looks like a small ventilation swirl. I love that she calls them ventilation swirls and not fans. <laughs> Whoa, a mechanical arm. Are you alive? I think it likes to push buttons. Hmm. This button made the floor rise, like an elevator. Is there something below it? This. Yep, those are the, uh, the Atherston alphabet. Or, well, maybe not alphabet, but the Atherston uh, symbols for numbers. The line itself is one, line with one dot is two, line with two dots is three, and so on. I think, uh, the symbol that looks like an E is five, I think. Ah, it won't turn. What should I do? Well, it's got a red light and it's connected to the box, so I think the box needs power for that to be able to turn. What a lovely little tree. Yep, E symbol, shank, five. Lovely plants. You give a lot of air for me to breathe. Oh, why did you scare Edward? Anyway, you're very cute. It is really cute. What do you bet when I go into the other world it's going to turn into a demon? Okay, well that thing definitely looks like a demon, but the little rabbit over there actually just got cuter. Look at it. It's got a full, like, dress on, shoes and hair and a bow. Oh my god. Hmm, arrow pointing up there. Hmm. Envy. Got an arrow pointing to the left. Oh, there's another one. Otten. <laughs> I've been <le> I've been learning how to do uh I've been learning how to speak Finnish, so now I'm just pronouncing everything, you know, because this is such an unfamiliar series of symbols and words to me, I'm just pronouncing it as if it's Finnish. Otten. Otten. Wait a minute. There's two oat dens. Do they point different directions? Let me see. Yeah, so this one's an eight, points to the left. This one's an eight, and it points to the right. Mm hmm. Alright, that's gotta be important. Though I don't know for what yet. It looks like this eye points to all the places that have numbers, too. This one points to the skull, this one points to over here, this one points to this. Say. Oh, and it looks like there's one up here, behind the rabbit monster. I see a little arrow on the wall. Oh, mechanical rabbit. It's not very cute. Maybe the rabbit is angry or hungry, or both. Hmm. I feel like I need to, like, push it underneath. And, like, squish it. Can I push you? Can I water you? Can I stab you? Can I bash you with a wrench? No. <gasps> oh! Battery! That's adorable! Oh my god! You... <laughs> I found a battery. You press a button on the elevator and then a little tiny arm punches a button and then it springs out. What if you do the same thing in this world? Oh, just one battery. There you go. Battery placed in... 
Yes, it works. Man, that is the slowest spinning fan ever. That's like, what? 5 RPM? Well, no, let's be fair. It's more like... 10? That's moving like no air at all. <laughs> anyway, this thing should work, whatever it, whatever this is. Hmm. So I can choose which button I wanna, I wanna punch. Whoa. Those are her parents. Are you? Oh. Would this look worse or better in the other world? Oh, okay. I guess I was in the nightmare world, right? I thought I was in the normal world, though. Maybe it just switched without me even taking the pills. Are they always gonna be there? Uh, yeah. Mommy? Daddy? Who did this to you? Why are you here? Please tell me. Let's just not look at them anymore. These are just regular flags. Hmm. What the heck's the point of that? Oh, that aims it. Oh, and this thing looks like it needs water, so let's aim it over. Mmm, close. It's never quite aims in the right place, of course. Is this to make music with the wind? A teapot water thrower. This is a massive and dangerous weapon. <laughs> That's a huge metallic swirl, like back in the first step. Hmm. I've seen these on movies. The thief always knows what to do. Oh, that must be with the numbers to the right. Eight to the right, eight to the left. Reset button, okay. Okay. But I need to know all parts of the combination first. Which means I need to get rid of the mechanical rabbit. Hmm. Hmm. That's just gonna put me back up. Okay, so if I want the water to go into the thing... Can I put, like... Well... I've already got water. Is that not enough water? I've already got water. I can't pour the water into the water thing? Huh. What if I give a carrot to the mechanical rabbit? I don't see why that would do anything, but it does seem oddly appropriate. I need to, like, change how far this moves every time. I need it to move in, like, smaller increments or something, or, like, something to reflect the water and catch it and redirect it or something. Yeah, bucket's already filled with water. True. So why don't you pour it into the water pump? Maybe I just don't need to do this yet. Let's go mess with the rabbit some more. What? A carrot? The carrot for the big... Oh, there we go. Shank. Shenk. Okay, so we've got five to the right. 
I guess the big question is what order to do these in, right? Like, which one do you start with? Is there anything that tells me the order? Maybe it's just clockwise or counterclockwise. So let's start with this one. So, I'll just erase that. So we've got six to the right. Eight to the right. Let's grab a carrot. Eight to the left. Hey, wait a minute. The bunny changed the outfit. It's different than it was before. It was like a blue dress and stuff. Now it's this like red thing. Nine to the left. And then finally. Five to the right. Yeah, does this thing's, uh, does a little bunny change outfits, like, every time? It does! Oh my god! How many outfits does it have? I've seen three so far. That's four. <laughs> That's my outfit. That's Fran. That's five. Yeah, so it looks like it has five different outfits. That's so cool. Alright, well, I, I think we have enough information to probably do the thing. Alright, so let's start with one side and go to the other side as far as the order in the room in which I collected them. And then if that doesn't work, I'll try the other way. So, six to the right... One, two, three, four, five, six, eight to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight to the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five to the right, one, two, three, four, five. Nope. Okay, let's try the opposite way. Five to the right, one, two, three, four, five, nine to the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 8 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 6 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, I have no idea what order they're supposed to be done in. Hmm. I've got the numbers, but I don't know in what order the numbers are supposed to be. That's a problem. I'm just going to spray water everywhere. That accomplished literally nothing. Is there something else on the pieces of paper that tells me the order? I don't see anything about this that tells me the order in which to do them. It's got the translation into English, it's got the actual symbol in the Thurston. I don't see how that changes anything, though. This just points to where they are, it doesn't tell you an order. <laughs> hmm. Don't suppose it's time to mess with a box? No, I don't think so. I don't get it. Well, you know what? I think I'm gonna save the solution for the next episode. Yes, I'm leaving it on a password cliffhanger. <gasps>
When I come back, I will remember even less than I do now, which means it's going to be even harder to solve. Oh yeah. Puzzle solving hard mode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.